shit go crazy. My good folks, it's your man, your guy, your boy, 1127 Kicks. I hope everybody out there is having a great day, an amazing day, an overall blessed day. Say, man, if you're new to the channel, do your boy a huge favor. Hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the page. And if you're already with the movie, bro, I greatly appreciate you, man. Hit that like button, share this video, and let's go ahead and keep this page growing. So, man, before we get into anything, got a quick unboxing, man. As you can see, we got this Air Jordan six bucks right here man and um it reads air jordan six retro six man size 12 and you already know we got the qr code on the box and this is no secret man what shoe this is i'm a little late on it but here we have it right here man just a quick unboxing your boy was able to pick up these Air Jordan 6 Carmines, man. Shout out to the homie Retro Rico. If y'all haven't checked him out on IG, make sure y'all tap in with him, man. He is an authentic reseller. Great prices, man. Ships out very fast. Hit you back on the DM really quick too, man. So make sure y'all tap in with Retro Rico on IG as well. Now, with that being said, man, um, I was on a live with Kicknology, um, Jada Sneaker Guy, and a few other people, I say around like last week, man, uh, Bobby Sneakers World, he was on that live live as well. And a few other people. And um, we looked up images of this shoe. Now, we thought it was going to be called the Shattered Backboard, you know, 4.0s. But that is not the case. And the shoe that I am talking about is the Air Jordan 1 Electro Orange Joints that is slated to release July 17th for a retail price of $170. Now, excuse me, we do have official images of this shoe man now the official images of this shoe is in girl sizes we don't have the official images in men's sizes but just getting into the shoe real quick as you can see man pretty much you got your air jordan one silhouette you got that you know black leather going around the toe you got your hint of that starfish orange throughout the shoe not too much the back heel of the shoe is all white i wouldn't be surprised if this shoe comes with a spare pair of white laces or a spare pair spare pair of you know um starfish orange laces or something like that but the shoe is very very you know simple it's nothing too crazy but it's still an air jordan one air jordan one silhouette in itself it's just a good looking shoe so it's hard to mess it up but man i'll be lying i thought the shoe was gonna look like this though and i will have a picture up now of course if this was going to be a shattered backboard 4.0 Man, I would rather it have looked like this shoe that I have up here, but that's not the case, man. They gave us the Electro Orange, man, but still got that Starfish Orange colorway, which basically still gives everybody, you know, some type of Shattered Backboard vibes. Now, when it comes to this shoe right here, I feel that Nike, I wouldn't say they dropped the ball because I don't think the shoe is necessarily ugly. I just feel like, you know, when you put that Starfish Orange on the shoe, it definitely should be, you know, some type of, um, I think it should be a Shattered Backboard. I think it should be part of the Shattered Backboard family. And I feel like if they would have gave us the other colorway when the back tab, the back heel and everything is orange with that black toe and everything like that, I feel like that would have been a way smoother, way cleaner shoe. But that's not what they gave us. They gave us this right here. Now, once again, this shoe is not ugly to me. I just wish there was a little more Starfish Orange into the shoe, man. It honestly, you know, I feel like that would make the shoe pops with a lot of white in that shoe right there man it looks a little plain to me but at the same time i still think it's still it's still a clean shoe you know still in the air jordan one like i said the whole aesthetic the model the build of the air jordan one still looks good regardless you can throw whatever colors you want on the air jordan one and the air jordan one is still going to look good so regardless if you do decide to pick up this shoe man i still feel like it will be a good pickup i feel like you can still rock it i feel like it will be a great summer shoe man especially when um with everything with COVID that's going on it seemed like you know with the vaccinations and all that stuff the world was starting to open back up there's more things to do and everything like that so this would definitely be a clean shoe to you know step out in for the summertime and that's just in my personal opinion now i do expect this shoe to sell out quick this is an air jordan one and even though that is called the electro orange people are still going to kind of dub it as a Shattered Backboard 4.0. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to throw it, throw it in the title. You feel what I'm saying? Just to, you know, like Skip Go Hard say, pimp them views. You feel what I'm saying? So 
you know, you have you have that right there. But overall, man, I do think it's gonna sell out fast. Now, as far as resale goes with this shoe, now I don't see this shoe doing UNC um, University ones numbers. I don't see it doing Mocha numbers or even Hyper Royal numbers. I feel like when this shoe initially releases, I could see it in that 275 to 300 range because that's usually, you know, where Air Jordan ones go. You never see them for like 250 or 240 unless the shoe is absolutely trash. But nowadays, when it comes to, you know, resale shoes, pretty much after taxes, you're paying 275 $300. And that's just on average, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm kind of expecting the same turnout when it comes to this shoe right here. Now, of course, with it being the Air Jordan 1, it will gain value over time, you feel me? I think over time, you see this shoe at 325 maybe 350 or something like that. But I think that's where it's gonna peak at when it's at its absolute highest. Then after that, I feel like that's this is one of those shoes that might slide under the radar for, if this shoe will slide under the radar for 2021. Like this is one of the shoes that, you know, Jordan Brand is putting out there. And if you, you know, pull this shoe out later on in the year or even next year, people gonna be like, man, I even, I forgot those came out. I feel like it's gonna be in that type of class. And with that being said right there, that's why I feel like that the resale won't be too high on that shoe. But at the same time, I still feel like it'll sell out. It's retailing for 170. So if, even if you do sell it for 275, $300, you're still making $130 worth of profit, you know, max. Maybe even more if you sell locally. Depends on how bad, you know, somebody really wants to shoot. But overall, man, that's how I feel about the shoot right there, man. Like I said before, I'm just a little disappointed because I really, really wanted that, you know, Shatter Backboard 4.0 mock-up that we've seen with the orange with the orange back with the black toe box and everything like that that would have been that would have been super duper tough right there that's just me but that's why i really don't trust mock-up images like that man because when it comes to those mock-up images you never know bro you just never know it's just it's just a complete guess you feel what i'm saying but that's just how i feel man please let me know how y'all feel about this shoe in the comment section below let me know is this shoe a cop or is this shoe a drop man is this a shoe that you you know you plan on reselling will this a shoe will this shoe go straight to the toe for you or you just completely good on it and honestly i don't blame y'all me personally this shoe will be a drop this will be a shoe that I will not be going after. I don't even see myself trying to resell the shoe because if you've been watching the page, you already know about your boy. When I get a shoe, the shoe is pretty much going to feet regardless. I'm wearing it, I'm putting I'm putting the shoe to the pavement. You feel me? But I I don't I don't see myself spending my money on this shoe right here, man. That's just me right there, but I don't want anybody to get offended. That's just my opinion. And if you like the shoe and you want to rock with the shoe, by all means, by all means, pick up the shoe, rock that shoe, man. Rock what you like, man, for real. Like my boy Technology say, rock what you like. And I was hyped, bro. So that's how I feel about it. Let me know how y'all feel. But I just want to say I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. Make sure you keep on liking, subscribing to the page. Make sure y'all keep on sharing. Please check out my new IG. I cannot get back into my old one. So if you're watching this, man, make sure you follow me on IG. I will follow back. And if you got any questions and DMs, I will reply to you, man. But I just want to say I love y'all. I greatly appreciate y'all, man. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Justice for George Floyd, as always. And you already know how we finna end the video off. If you search for good, you shall find a favor. If you search for evil, shall find you. Proverbs 11:27. And we walk in faith and not by sight. For what is seen is temporary, what is unseen is forever. I live by that, I stand by that. And it's your boy 1127 Kicks. And I always remember, bless your feet with something. Who did hit me up and told me shit on these niggas? Cause these niggas out here came back to go on showing the different. Keep on dropping all of that shit that made these four wanna listen. You know these niggas ain't fucking telling. Get out of here.